Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. Oh, these two are back in the news again, and I'm laughing very hard about it. I just want to have a conversation with you all. A lot has come out about the silly Halloween slash trick-or-treat photo, and I ended up doing a live stream last night, and we had the best time. I think 600 people were chatting at the same time. It was so cool. But, um, so I definitely, you can go back and still watch the recording of that if you missed it. Uh, thank you to everybody who turned out. But we got into a really interesting conversation in there about the stupid Halloween picture, the just the silliness going on behind the scenes with this Halloween picture. So um, I talked about it in the live stream, so I cut that part and wanted to share it in a video. So that way, if you didn't want to watch the whole live stream, you can actually just watch this clip. So take a look, listen to me talking about why I don't believe this picture, what I think is going on behind the scenes, and all the things. You'll hear me read out comments from some people in the live chat. That's what that's about. I, It's just a different format. Of course, when I'm live, I'm just having a conversation and I'm answering people's questions on the fly and stuff. So you'll kind of hear me cut in and out. I've trimmed out some of those question and answer stuff when we quit talking about it and then we go back to it. So anyway, it sounds a little clipped in some places. That's why I also... You'll see that same Halloween picture for most of the video because that's it was just up on the screen while we were talking about it in the live chat. So anyway, this one's a little different for me. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I can't wait to read your comments on this one. Tell me what you think's really going on here. Yeah, P.S. You've got to stay tuned to the end because somebody came up with a costume for Harry that is pretty amazing. Here we go. Put it off long enough. Let's talk Halloween. You guys, I am rolling my eyes so hard. I have eye strain. I have vocal <laughs> eye roll going on. Lots to talk about. All right. Let me back up and say, if you haven't looked at the news today, stuff's weird. Uh, I always like to look at Daily Mail, even though I get frustrated with them because they have been pro Harkle sometimes, but then sometimes they're like, yeah, those two suck. And I'm like, okay, I'm back on board. So if you check the news at all today, it's all over and it's real weird. Like Daily Mail, <laughs> Daily Mail, Daily Mail is real weird. Daily Meal is weird uh, because it says something like, I don't know, like the Sussexes. I don't even use their title. Okay. Harold and Fraud take the kids trick-or-treating, but then didn't have any pictures up. And then I started looking around, and I thought that was weird. And then I started looking around at other websites, same, no pictures up of the trick-or-treating. And plus, why is this a story? We took our kid to a Halloween party and trick-or-treating. Where's our news story? <laughs> Who wants, you know, like, who's who's waiting to interview us about taking our kid, kid trick-or-treating? It's, uh, it actually reminds me of, um, I love Chris Rock. I love his comedy. He did a stand-up routine years ago where he said, Something like, it's like people who brag about paying child support. That's what you're supposed to do. Do you want a cookie? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be a parent. You're supposed to have normal moments with your children. Like, I don't know, taking them trick-or-treating. Why do you need a cookie for this? Ugh, so irritating. Here goes, here goes my eye roll vocally. <laughs> but uh, so, the, again, they want credit for something they're supposed to do. This news story is everywhere. They, they take their kids trick-or-treating. Okay, but let's really talk about this, shall we? So after all these news stories come out, after this story comes out, and it's everywhere which is ridiculous, and there's no pictures, which is very weird. All of a sudden, we get this picture, which you should see up on your screen. This very blurry picture, by the way. Why is this news, first of all? Why are there never any clear pics with the kids? We got that one of Harry carrying the little girl, but then there was doubt afterwards as to if that was real or not. I'm going to say allegedly by all this because, you know, we have to. Allegedly, I don't... This is my opinion on all of this. How about that? My opinion is this is bullshit. This picture is bullshit, and I'll tell you why. Um, okay, so much to talk about. I'm like <laughs> all over the place. Let's stay on track here. All right, so blurry pics with kids. That's their thing to do. I believe this is Megan trying to get people talking. Well, why is this news now? Why is this coming out? Is this supposed to overshadow King Charles in Africa? Is this... What's going on? The other thing that I want to point out is if you watch my video today, I talk about, I have from a source, and it's, again, it's alleged, you got to take it with a grain of salt, that allegedly Harry went to Africa. Now, 
He's probably back. He probably made it back in time that he could have gone trick or treating. I don't know the I don't know the ins and outs. I don't even know for sure that he did go to Africa, but I had heard from pretty good source that he did go and then was turned away by Prince Charles. Sorry, I keep doing that. King Charles. You know what it is? It's not disrespect toward Charles. It's because Queen Elizabeth will always be my queen, and so I always think of her as you know the queen and the monarchy. And then uh, I think of him as Prince Charles. That's why it's no disrespect to anybody. Anyway, let me try that again. King Charles turned him away. So he flew back home. So maybe he made it back in time. I don't know. I'm calling bullshit on this. I'm calling that this was either last year or a different event. The other thing I'm calling, and I see my comments are going crazy. I will read your comments, I promise. But here's my thing. I don't think it's them. I don't. I really don't. Where is their security? We don't see security anywhere around. Um, again, no clear picks. Now, let me show you this. I'm going to pop something up on screen. Go. Ready for just a second. Okay, should. So this was shared online. And if I had the username, I would shout it out. I do not, unfortunately. But um, this was shared of. I don't know, a lovely family trick-or-treating here. We look at the little cute tiger, so cute. Uh, and then they just got this random family in the background. So the speculation is, is that somebody saw that family, thought, hey, that looked like Harry and Meghan and the kids. And they cropped it or zoomed in, and that's why it's so blurry. And they used that to try to say, look, they're together. Here they are doing a normal family thing. But then, um, I just, I don't, go ahead. I see Chrissy in the chat saying that's her, her photo. <laughs> oh my God, that's yours, Chrissy. Okay, you're amazing. Chrissy, let's all, let's all give Chrissy Hunsaker. Chrissy, where do you want us to follow you? Are you on Twitter? I'm not trying to use your stuff without, that's why I was saying if I had this user's information, I'd shout it out. Now I can. Chrissy, that's you. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, Chrissy. Then you can fill us in. I wish I could get you on mic. That you could fill us in then, because I I actually got this image off of Saint Megan Markle Reddit. Um, so maybe you can explain it more clearly than me. But I, the way I'm understanding it then is that somebody zoomed in, cropped this image, and said, "Oh, there they are," and that's not them. Um. Anyway, so the speculation is is that somebody cropped in, picked out this family, was like, "Oh, there they are." And maybe it is them. I don't know. I just find that so weird and that it's um, so blurry. So I'm going to go back okay, to the original. The, and then it makes this picture make a little more sense. You should be able to see in just a second. Where it's blurry and kind of cropped weird. And yeah, there you go. So I just, I don't think it's them. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm speculating. Allegedly, allegedly, right? All right. But yeah, I find this thing so weird. So this is where I want you guys to chime in. So is this the wife doing this to get people talking? Is she trying to say, is it kind of like snapping back at people? Because people have been calling out their <laughs> lack of parenting, their absentee parenting style. I don't know what you call it. Um, there's been lots of talk about that lately with all the vacations. It must be tough taking all those vacations from what? I have no idea. Uh, so I feel like that's her maybe trying to clap back by releasing a photo like this. I'm not, I, I don't know. And then, it, but then somebody else speculated it's to get people talking. So then she could come out and say, nope, it's fake to keep people talking. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so silly, right? It's silly. Uh, oh my gosh, Starbelly is saying the exact same thing Jay said. That is too funny. Let me read Starbelly's comment and I'll let Jay talk. There's no way Megan wouldn't do a look at me, look at me moment. I'm sure she loves getting recognized in public. Jay said the exact same thing. Yeah, much like how Spider-Man has his spider sense to sense danger, she has her um, camera sense <laughs> that yeah. senses cameras. And immediately, she, she could be... Uh, Hundreds of yards away, since it flip around and like mm -hmm. <laughs> picture. Exactly, she would show herself off. She would show her jewelry off. She'd cling on to Prince Dumbass, whatever. Like she'd do something. But I don't think. Yeah, other people are saying in the comments. I don't. I don't. 
I'm not trying to judge anybody's anything as far as, you know, body stuff. I just think this woman is built a little different than Megan. How about that? Maybe it's the jeans. Maybe it's, I don't know. She's also not wearing a, a parka or yeah. or anything totally opposite of the weather. Yeah. yeah, that's true. She's not wearing a parka or stickers all over, so I don't recognize her. Um, but yeah, that's, that's okay. So everybody's saying in the comments, it's not them. I don't think so either. That woman has a bum. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think that's them either. So, and when's the last time? Thank you, Calla. That's such a good point. Calla Lizzie says, when's the last time we saw Megan wear sneakers? Exactly. That's a very mom thing to do, right? Like, you know, you're going to be chasing your kids around. You're going to go for whatever gets to the kids the fastest, right? So sneakers it is. And, and I just don't, in my opinion, she wouldn't think like that necessarily. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Glennis is saying, and the child being carry her leg looks really awkward sticking out like that. Yeah, it does. And I, I just think there's several things that are very odd about this picture. Again, let's give, uh, Let's give Chrissy a recognition for sharing this. Oh my gosh, that's too funny and too cool that you're actually here. It's your photo I was sharing. Oh, KT said she'd be wearing a bikini. There you go. That's right. Showing off, uh, I don't know, from their, their vacation. They're on vacation, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I just don't believe it. And, and, and even if it is them, I don't believe it's from Halloween. It could have been a party, a different day, like... Our kid had a party a couple of days ago, and then, of course, we took her trick-or-treating last night. So I just, I did, none of it makes any sense. It really doesn't. Oh, and then I'm going to take this picture off the screen and that picture, and then I'm going to show you something else really funny. Hold on. All right. Give me one second. And again, I got this picture to show you. Speaking of Halloween, you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Harry's mummy costume for Halloween. <laughs> I thought that was so good. Oh, yes. Now, my knocker, my honkers are oscillating. My honkers are oscillating. Gosh. This is sick and twisted and hilarious, and it's my kind of humor, so I dig it. That's really funny and really creepy all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs>